Hey everyone, welcome to this new video in this series that I don't know what it is. So basically the main purpose of this series is add content on this channel. So let's begin this duplicate encoder question in code voice. I'm Tansi Saji, this is Learned Education. I'm playing code voice game. The goal of this exercise is to convert a string to a new string where each character in the new string is bracket. If that character appears only once in the original string or closing bracket if the character appears more than once in the original string. Ignore capitalized which means everything is lowercase. Let's do that. Word equals to word dot lower. So this makes everything lowercase. And we need to count the occurrences of each letter. So word equal to list of word this will make this will make a character list and we will use counter class in collections library from this will give us Account of every letter. I'm bad at naming variables. I don't know why. I have an OCD in variable names. Uh, whatever string, crap. Try to make a counter object of word list and character list of word. This will give us a list of a dictionary of character associated with its thing. So now we have to just do a for loop for care in word if let's make our result string empty string if the count of this particular character is greater than one right uh, in brackets if only one second equals one then result plus equals opening bracket as it is closing bracket And finally, we will just return the result variable. Let me run this sample test. Cool, all test. Now, let me attempt the entire test sample case. Cool, 48 passed, 0 failed. I don't want to refactor or comment my code. If it's hard to write, it must be hard to read. Right? Oh, by the way, let me just point you to my blog what's my name of the blog I don't remember uh, yeah learn, learn with jello learn if it's hard to write it must be hard to read it's a reference to this one of the one of my oldest blog actually how to write a good book Give it a read. The URL is learnwithcello.wordpress.com. So let me just submit the final answer and you can also use dot count method of the list variable list method dot count method of list object. But the thing is the dot count method is like ten times lower than counter object. This guy has done that exact same thing that I've done, but smaller. Who comments on this thing? Okay, that's it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe, like, share, comment.